I did a film with Matthew Perry called Serving Sarah, the hilarious Serving Sarah. And uh, we were walking to the set, and he goes, you know, that Evil Dead game sucks. I went, oh, wait a second. First of all, I, stop right there. I didn't even know you played this game. He goes, yeah, I got the game. And so I keep talking. I go, so did you get all the way through the game? He goes, well, no. I went, well, that's interesting, Matthew. Maybe... It's not the game that sucks. Maybe you suck. And he went into rehab the next day. <laughs> so these games are very powerful. This particular game, we have the introduction of a new character, Sam. And he's a little runt, and he's a demon. He's a deadite. So obviously Ash and Sam don't really see eye to eye because Ash is four feet taller. Uh, but uh, philosophically, they don't either because one is dead and one is alive. But uh, Sam is pretty handy because you can get that witty banter going. The good cop, bad cop. You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. So it's like 48 hours with a chainsaw. Sam provides the opportunity for Ash not only to torment and punish him, is he can use him as a guinea pig. Of like, you go in there. You're already dead. Get in there and check it out. So he's a very handy tool for the gamer. Because the solitary thing can get old after a while because you got Ash walking around going, hmm. A box of shells. Mm. But at least now you can go, hey, Sam, what is that? A box of shells, you idiot. See how useful that was? I've even done a video game, uh, a voice for a video game that never came out because by the time we were done, it was a completely outmoded platform. They were like, ah, oh, we don't do that anymore. Bye. I went, <laughs> well, that was a waste of recording. But you just do what you can. So hopefully this one will be groovalicious. You usually get a script about that thick for video games because you have to be electrocuted, you have to, by death by strangulation, you fall off a cliff. So you have to record all the ways that you would die in the event that you would die that way. So there's a lot stored up. So if you ever want to hear the really fun stuff with these video games, just go into a corner and do something stupid for about 10 minutes and you'll get yelled at. It's interesting. Regular voiceover sessions, you show up, you do your thing, next on Fox, you know, and then you're out of there. With video games, it's weird because you have to record extra stuff that the gamer might never even do. Like if he just goes up to a window and goes, eventually, you know, Ash will say, there's nothing there. It's kind of the fundamental difference between the Evil Dead series and, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th, that there's only one good guy. And that's Ash. All the other heroes who have endured for some reason are the bad guys. So maybe it's time for Ash to kick their little butts. The rumor of Jason versus Freddy versus Ash is a, currently a pretty hot one. That one's buzzing around the internet. It's tearing it up on the internet. And that rumor, I have to say, is <clears throat> partially true. But you got to look at it this way. There's three franchises. So you got three batches of lawyers going, arr, 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 arr. so right now they're sort of yelling at each other, going, no, we're, we're worth more. No, no, you suck. We're better. We're the better franchise. I guess I could just say this. They're in, they're in discussions right now. They're also trying to, you know, have peace in the Middle East, too. Since the, uh, the 25th anniversary of Evil Dead is coming up, which is shocking and horrifying at the same time, Beautiful yet horrifying. Uh, the plan is to attempt some form of documentary of, like, where are they now? So there's, I think, going to be some fun clips of some of the actresses who really were the scream queens. They're, they're soccer moms now. So, you know, Ellen Sandweiss, who was raped by a tree, uh, <laughs> she's, her kids are, you know, <laughs> regular old kids going to I'm finally going to direct my first film, a tender love story called Man with a Screaming Brain. You know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Um, about a businessman who winds up being a guinea pig for a horrible experiment over in uh, Europe. So we're going to shoot that in Bulgaria. That's where they shoot movies now. Because New Zealand is full. They're done. So now we're in Bulgaria. We'll be in Bratislava next. I don't know. And in your backyard after that.
The truth to the rumor of Evil Dead 4. Well, the real trick there is to call Sam Raimi on the phone and convince him to do Evil Dead 4 instead of Spider-Man 2. Hmm. Well, that's a tough one. Sam, I hope you'll be able to make the, that decision. <laughs> In the first Spider-Man, as you recall, I named the character. Without my character in the movie, without the ring announcer, that movie would have been called The Human Spider. Let's just get it out there, okay? In part two, I can't tell you much for legal reasons. My character defeats Spider-Man. Sam, I didn't say any more. See? It's pretty good. He defeats Spider-Man. Wow. Part three, I become Spider-Man. Because <laughs> Toby ain't going to do it. <laughs> you know, I'll bet you'd be some kind of knockout if you traded in the granny wear for a bra that pushed up your yams. You know, I'll bet you'd be some kind of a knockout if you traded in the granny wear for a bra that pushed up your tatas. <clears throat> How insensitive. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk, I'll talk I'll a little more like that. Uh, I'll, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. I understand. I understand. Ah. Yeah. Stop. You're looking a little unsightly. <laughs> is he too, yeah, is he too right. brute cakey or is he okay there? He's talking about me, hero. Okay. Bad first impression. Uh, <laughs> reality check. That's Ooh, it. We Ooh. are there. Oh, sorry. We are there, that's it. Oh, that's it, okay. Uh, Do you know how many terms these rats are packing? Cephalus, polio, rabies, gingivitis, little petri dishes with fur teeth for freak's sake. I'd rather suck face with